231, Sheriff, I'm out. Recording. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I just had a talk with Mr. Jackson. <laughs> so, he gave me these emails. Oh, okay. I recognize you, but don't know you from where. That would be why. <laughs> so, he gave me these emails. You know, that's they're crossed off. There's parts that are crossed off. Is there a way to get them without them being crossed off? I don't believe so because, uh, let's see here. There should have been. I don't know why, who crossed them off, why they were crossed off. Um, there was a reason listed. Somebody made a complaint against him. Well, his complaint is the neighbor he has a restraining order on is the one that's doing this, which could possibly be a violation of the restraining order. And that's what I'm investigating right now, a restraining order violation. I know that the administrator knows the Three and eight, sure. Three and eight, All right, I'm going to be following Barbara to arrest her. Good day, sir. I got called by Mr. Jackson today okay. about a restraining order violation in which he thinks his neighbor is sending emails to harass him and through you guys. Okay. Do you know who sent those emails? They are crossed off. Yep. They're redacted. Okay. By our attorney. Our attorney recommended us redact the emails. Okay. And I sent that to Mr. Jackson as our clerk did. Okay. The reasons for which. So, if you want, I can send this um, to the def to the our attorney to find out what we can do about it. I if you I mean if you could contact him or get me a number to call him or. Um. Sure. We anticipate this to happen. I guess you guys sent him a cease and desist order. So now he's going after. Oh, he's using going him or a third party to harass him. Which I don't. This would he's, be up to the he's DA. Water up to, on the property. So, yeah. Let me. Uh, Information for 
Hey Thomas, Randy. Um, this hearing wants to talk to you. Mr. Jackson called the deputies to complain about the email I sent him regarding the complaints of the dumping because the neighbors got a restraining order and he's a restraining order violation. So he wants to know what he should do. So is it okay to talk to him? Right. I think I sent you that a long time ago. Basically, they're supposed to stop all contact. With Not to him. use a third party to harass him. He's a, basically his his allegation is that the neighbors are taking pictures and sending them to the village to harass him, which is a third party using a third party to contact him, which is a violation of the restraining order. Did you get to that's, copy that? that's his contention. Because they call us to, they call us to, uh, we would enforce it, and if there's a violation, we would arrest the subject that violated the restraining order. No, we, the, the judge, the judge grant, the commissioner granted the four-year restraining order, and if we get a call and someone violates one of the conditions, we charge them with violating a restraining order. I'm looking for it. Uh, just hang on. Um, easy to find it's from like November of 2022 that's when I think it was in it was put in place yeah well I got a email back and forth me asking his attorney for it but I can't seem to find the actual document
put stuff mm. together from the 15,000 emails and find something that's three years old. Maybe I saved it. Is there any way that we could judge? Well, I, I mean, I can look up a copy of what it says. Um, I guess the contention is, I just want to know, I mean, that's obviously a rejected email. I just, I would like the whole email, all the emails as they came, if that's possible. For my all the emails for what? The copies of the ones he gave me. Are there photos attached with those? Is there more to it than that? that out for you but I mean we redact the problem is is that he's asking for the name and we and that's why I sent him to you and you we gave him the language the, the reason why we redacted it so um, that's why he you know and I told you that this was going to happen I, I told you that because <laughs> now it seems that now because there's a stop order injunction Mr. Jackson's next step is now he's going after, he thinks the neighbors are doing it, so he's going after a restraining order violation. Um, I can't get this stuff up there. Do you want copies? Of and he said there were, there were some more from after the one that was sent on the 23rd as well. If well there's, he has open records requests. He's got hundreds of them. <laughs> so, and I'm... I'm 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 late I'm late to this party because I obviously this has been a I couple you, years. There's probably a thousand different emails back and forth. So um, just so just for my part of the investigation, they were what was the reason for redacting them? Tom, you can answer that. I I can't hear you. No, I'm I'm investigating a possible restraining order violation. Right. 
So I'm just asking why you guys redacted when you sent them to him. Just for my, just. Okay, that's all. Simply all I'm looking for. Public policy reasons, the names of individuals expressing concern, which is the same thing to the village, and individual complainants have been redacted because the release of the identities of such individuals can discourage individuals from contacting the village with concerns and complaints. Which is why our records redacts police reports when they give them out to people, so witnesses can't be harassed. targeted or harassed. Okay. I guess the, the what I, what if the restraining order says that this person cannot use a third party to harass them, he feels that them taking photos from their house and sending them to the village is harassing him because it's led to the village taking action against him based on their complaints made to the village. That's his contention as to why there's a restraining order violation. It says that him or a third party cannot harass him, and he feels like that's what's happening. I I I I didn't have time before I talked to him to read it all, but he said there's something in there that says that they're supposed to have contact with attorneys and not. Other, other parties about issues that's going on, and he feels that they stepped outside of that, which is a violation of the restraining order. Well, again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a giant mess because there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on there that I spend 45 minutes trying to get a background, and there's way more than I can cipher through than was, is what's going on. His attorney is the municipal court decision, which was not timely. I've got to talk to Vicki. I don't know what her thinking is in terms of sending it to municipal court first. The only guy I can think of is it's because it was outside of the 20 days, but maybe everything just gets sent to circuit court and let them sort it out there. But I, again, I need to see that restraining order because the language in that restraining order is the starting point, and then we may have to. He he filed a complaint and I'm I'm going through it right now. Two sixty five Okay, I, I can't look at the complaint. I can look at the language of the restraining order. I'll probably talk to a litigation lawyer about that because I've just never dealt with these kind of things before. So I'm basically my, my question is at this point you're not gonna release the the names that the four emails sent. That that's all I care about. The names of the people who sent the emails. Okay. It's a totally different issue. It has nothing to do with the restraining order or with his complaint. <clears throat> and if he if he feels that those names should not have been redacted, then he's got a couple choices. And all of his choices involve going to court. He can either go to I, I'm not. I'm not speaking on his behalf. I'm speaking on my behalf, doing an investigation. You're not going to release who sent those four emails that I handed to Randy. That's all I'm asking. Oh, well, you can hand it to Randy. You and Randy are different than Jackson. So yes, you can share those things with Randy. I mean, I can print it out for you. Yeah, the problem it's, is, is then. Well, and then now that's another issue. Does he 
have a restraining order against both of them or just one of them? It says that he or no, no can't have him or a third party. I don't remember seeing that. I remember seeing the restraining all standard, order. All standard restraining orders don't way? allow third party contact. Okay. Because if I had a restraining order against you, but then your wife could harass me, what's the point of a restraining order? You can't have you or a third party on behalf of them to harass them. And here's, here's taking a photograph and sending it to That's, the This is something that I'm just going to write a report and forward it to the DA's office and let them interpret it how they, how they yeah. please. Technically, they're the ones who would have to... Yes, this is... This is this is something because, I mean, there's, <laughs> they have knowledge that he's not supposed to be working on the, on the property, so they're sending it. Is that really a violation? I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a gray area, you know? I mean, well, that's a religious request. Right. Did you, let me ask, did you ask them to keep an eye on the property? Yeah, I did. Because, I mean, I don't know So now, now, in a way, they're agents of the village because they're acting on, on, on your request. Because you asked them to keep an eye on the property. They're not agents of the village. Well, he asked them to keep an eye on it. They're taking pictures and responding back. Well, it could they, be... They, they it, filed complaints. Okay, I understand. But it can be interpreted different ways. Okay, I, I think... Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I got... You can have the DA if she wants to call me. If the DA wants to call me, I can explain exactly what the situation is. I'll, I'll probably end up calling the DA before I submit anything as to what's fully going on. And, and the DA can call me, too. I mean, where this is going on, I have multiple I'm with you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so I, I, appreciate, I appreciate your time, sir. That's all I'm doing is I, I'm investigating it. I'm trying to find out as much information as I can. And I'm going to put together a report and we'll go from there. Yeah, that's all we can do. Um, you're doing yeah, he's, he's he's complaint I'm just doing my due diligence. Yeah. He, he got his, yeah. he made his complaint. I'm trying to find out both sides. Yeah. Trying to be, but it is, to be that fair. That's who it is. And there's more pictures and stuff. But... Could, I, could I get the ones with the pictures just for my report? Sure. I I don't know if you go to the the name of the gentleman that has it on CCAPS. I think uh, restraining orders are um, public record, and you'd be able to just click on it. it. Should say what the restraining order is. And you know what, Randy? I'll just make a copy of these. Yeah. Um, I'm off till Thursday, so take your time. If you got other stuff, no, I'm gonna print them right now. Okay, I was just saying I'm if you, right now, so. okay, if you had other stuff to do, I could, because it's not gonna get done till next week and stuff. Involved in it's in the computer. I think it's a, I think restraining order is a FO. I'm okay. not a hundred percent sure that the file. Okay. It'd be like it would say like twenty two. I think it's FO. Okay. Because CM is criminal misdemeanor, CF is criminal felony, TR is traffic. Okay. Let me just put this. <clears throat> I'm printing both of them because I don't know which one. There's, the, there's two. Of he them. gave there's me four. He gave me four. There's yeah. ones from August, ones from May, ones from March, and ones yeah. from January.
Okay, Tom, I, don't, I think we're done for now. Okay. Okay. I want to confirm Vicky's thinking first. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Right here. Right here. Hold this. Let me pull it out real quick. His name is Tom or Thomas? T O M G A R T N E R. He's from Michael Best in Friedrich. Okay. Phone number? I mean, it's, that's all I'm. Tr that's all I'm trying to do is gather as much as I can. Yeah. Yeah, if I could, of, of just these four that he gave me specifically. Okay, let me just get those dates. If you want to just, if you want to just Here, copy those off. They, these are the copies of the full record. It has the pictures of everything. Okay. You know, because he's only giving you eight. And I can do is, I will find these and get the right. I can do that. Or yeah, that's fine. I, I won't be back till Thursday because I'm off. All oh, this is like a, a history of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's what he asked for. <laughs> oh, this is what this is what. Uh, what Mr. Asked. Okay, because here's yeah, January 11th, March 2nd. Th th these are the emails that he gave me. Okay. So obviously these are the, the pictures that go with them. I just need the, the emails. That's who who sent the emails. That's all I need. Not crossed off. Um, when did you ask them to keep an eye on the property and, and to let you know if stuff I is going on? A long time ago. They kept complaining, and I, I told him to stop dumping. It was back in 2022. It looks like there was some some black ground or black top shavings. Or he's going to put a drive put the driveway up the hill. It looks like that's all is piled up, and all the dirt looks like um, it's been there for quite a while. Nothing new looks like it was dumped. I had him walk me all the way up the property line. So did you see? I saw the berms. Okay. There's a camper in the back. There's a huge mound of piles of blacktop grindings that he said he's going to make a driveway yeah. with up the hill. He wants to get it spread out so he can so get it compact. Of, uh, abandoned vehicles up there? Or vehicles? I think there was one vehicle that looked like there was a... a a green storage container and there was a camper yeah there's two trailers up there. There, there was, i saw one camper i didn't go all the way over there i was like right on the do you have now also can i get the cease and desist order that you sent him recently to stop doing the work 
that would help me. And I'll just make copies of those and I'll come back and pick them up on Thursday next week. Does that work? Yes. And we'll, then we'll go from there. Was that the one that was recently sent? Well, he had From like the August 24th or something like that, he said? Well, when, when was that from? He said one one just happened recently. He got a... Yeah, he had a sign for it. This was the cease and desist from the circuit court. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. And I can pick all that up Thursday and then we can uh, sift through it then, if that works. Okay. I'll, I'll I'm just going to make a copy of, of these four and I'll leave these for you. You can keep that. Okay. I have that. Oh, you can make copies of that for me. So yeah, you for you. Yeah. And then I'll come back on uh, Thursday. Yeah. Somebody printed a lot? go here's this this that. okay I'll find that and you can take that this is a copy of the that just came out September 1st yeah it looks like then this was that I, I sent this to him August 31st and okay then he was still filling dirt so then I went to circuit court and got the work the order okay to stop <laughs> awesome I appreciate it I'll see you I'll be in yep, next and I'll Yep. I, absolutely. I I appreciate the okay. the help. Sure, no problem. It's just a very difficult situation. I I like I said, I got thrown in the middle knowing nothing, and my head is spinning right now yeah. as he, to. He filled a wetland. I'll give you a two minute story. He wanted to. Another DNR washed wash their hands wash, of it. They washed their hands of it, but the problem is, is that he's still backing up water onto the onto the neighbor's property. Water's backed up. There's pictures in the mm -hmm. I just gave you. Showing the water backed up, so I told him he has to. He had to stop back in 2022 when he filled the wetland, and then the DNR signed off and like, "Well, you're still in violation of the stormwater." So we, in 22 last fall, we sent him tickets on junk vehicles or the vehicles, mm -hmm. the trailers, and the stormwater issue. Because to my to my knowledge, all that land has is a parcel number. There's no address. There's no address because there's no house. And you can't park anything on a on, a, on the on a land lot until he builds. And, until there's a house there. And, and he and he can't get and he can't get a he can't get a build permit because of the drainage because of the issues. Yeah, it's a violation. Okay. So they fixed the violation when that was it. Because he so he's he went to our court, mm -hmm. had an attorney, he signed a stip that he was gonna do an agreement, and the agreement we had out with his attorney that okay, fix the culvert. And put it in the silt then we'll uh, you can apply for a building permit you can put up the accessory structure first because he wants to fill that because he says all of his building materials are in the two trailers so we said do that take the materials put up your accessory structure first get rid of the tra car cars first then trailers and then you can build your house and live happily ever after and he's and it, now he says well his attorney had no no authority to sign for him, and he would never sign it. It's like, huh. okay. So, all right, Randy, I appreciate your help. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week.
You all have a wonderful weekend. You too. I have to work all weekend. Oh, you know. I get off. Sunday's my Friday, so. Take care, guys.